Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Maria. I do all kinds of videos on cooking, cleaning, organizing, motherhood, and today's video is gonna be about decorating the front porch. Um, we haven't done anything to it since the holidays, and it's the middle of summer almost, so I just feel it's important. It's a long overdue project. I'm not doing much. I'm just gonna put a little bit of personal touch, um, just adding a little bit of yellow because that's what's gonna match what's inside the house. And I just love decorating my front porch because it's kind of like the first thing that people see before they walk into the house. And yeah, and it doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to spend a lot of money doing it. Just little things there and there and you're done. So I hope this can give you some motivation to maybe do something with your front porch and let's get started. So you guys, this is how my front porch looked until the middle of June, this poor neglected little porch area. And of course, there were some packages on there, and I am very excited about them. However, I have to put them away before my husband sees them because he says he's tired of seeing packages, but I am not because he doesn't understand that we need stuff. Anyways, so that's the story of my life, and he doesn't get mad or anything. He just rolls his eyes, but I think it's just kind of funny, and do any of you guys have the same issue as me? So now I'm just going to clear everything off the front porch and give it a good clean. You can decorate it as nicely as you can, but if it's not clean, I just feel it doesn't look good. I'm not going to do any deep cleaning or anything, just to freshen it up, and then I'm going to start decorating. I always do. I never think. I always do. Never thought I would a child. After I quickly swooped everything up, I'm just gonna wash the front door because it is white and you guys, it gets so dirty. I cannot wait to replace this door because you can see everything on white and all the little scuffs, marks, everything. So what I'm doing, I'm just gonna um, wipe it down with some water and like a rag and then I'm gonna go over it with a magic eraser just to get any additional um, marks on it. But it doesn't matter how often I clean it, it will be dirty like within next week or something. As you can see, it's taking me a minute to get this door all cleaned up. Um, after washing it, I'm actually going to go over with the magic eraser just to get it extra clean. I don't wash my front door very often. I don't know if you guys do. Probably every time I clean up my porch and redecorate it, that's pretty much when I do it. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to make it really clean and hopefully it will last throughout the season. Whenever I wash my windows on the outside, I actually use the Spray Away Glass Cleaner. Someone recommended it and I absolutely love it, so thank you so much. It doesn't leave any streaks, it's really easy and um, it does have like a really, really strong smell, so that's why I usually use it on the outside windows. And here are all the lanterns that are just actually drying out because I did um, just hose them down just to give them a quick wash. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of them, but I washed them all just in case. 
I don't know if you watched my Christmas decor, but these pots are actually from the Christmas decorations. I decided to reuse them because I didn't want to go and buy a new pot and all that stuff. So um, I just added more soil to it and I bought some real life plants that don't need a lot of sun because this area doesn't get like, much sun. So I got, um, I don't even know the, the name of those, but just picked them up because they said partially shade and so forth. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to add fake flowers and mix it up because I don't wanna spend too much money on this decor. And sometimes you can get a really good deal on fake flowers, especially at Michael's. I think that's where I got them. And I'm just curious, do any of you guys do that? Do you guys mix real plants with fake ones, especially if you're doing outdoor decor? To me, I think it looked really good and I didn't have to maintain it as much. Obviously, I'm going to be watering it, but if some real flowers die off, they still have some fake ones and um, they don't need any maintenance. I never took you for a one night stand And I was hoping to see you again, yeah Maybe be a little more than friends you and I, yeah But lately you've been acting like a ghost And never answer when I hit your phone uh, If you wanna go just let me know I, I guess I never should've let you in so close to my And I bought this yellow pot at Home Goods, I believe And I absolutely love it, it looks so nice And it just makes me sigh when I look at it And I think it looks good with the green plant um, and here I am just trying to figure out where I want to place it. I didn't have a specific spot for it But eventually ended up being in a corner on the chair and it doesn't need a lot of light. So uh, I think it works perfect there Get you out of my head I wanna take back everything I said Yeah, I wish I never got in your bed That night oh, And every time somebody comes close I always seem to lose control Yeah, I lose control I guess I never should've let you in So close to my body I should've known Just because you spent the night Doesn't mean you want me and this is how my front porch turned out. I love the accent of yellow and as you can see I reused my welcome sign, the pots and then the lanterns. I just decided to use these instead of the white ones because it was just, just too much. And then over here that's where the plant is. And here I also added some white flowers that I just had on hand. I think it works really well because it matches the door. Overall, this is my front porch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully this gave you some motivation to update your front porch. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!